There's an interesting um, connection here to, uh, so I spoke to Robert Wright, who wrote the book, Why Buddhism is True. And he talks about a kind of um, idea, kind of cognitive science idea of, of the self. You know, we feel like we are the self and, or the ego, and that it has kind of free will and it, it runs the show. But there's this, you know, other, this other way of thinking about it where it's kind of like a PR agent. It's just a module that basically tells a story about what James is doing. So, you know, if I, if, if you could stimulate my brain and make me walk out of the room and you say, why did you walk out of the room? Yeah, you know, people do, you know, have done these kinds of experiments um, with split brain patients. And then, then I would I would come up with some story I would confabulate. And, yeah. you know, it's kind of pointing to this idea that the ego all along is basically trying to do this task we're talking about that narcissists are doing in the extreme and, and kind of just off, making yourself look good effectively. You're telling a story that makes sense where you're the hero and you're kind of a good looking hero. <laughs> Because that's, I mean, yeah. we all, I, I mean, we all, I mean, I don't know. I've been thinking a lot about suffering and I, I kind of think a lot of my suffering is that the world is just this big complex, you know, kind of raga and I'm trying to shove it into a country song. I'm just trying to make this big chaos make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense. I can't make it that small. So I suffer. And I think with, with that narcissism is you're trying to feed it into the ego and you're trying to keep this narrative going where you're kind of the star of the show, but you're, you're not really the star of the show. I mean, we live, there's millions of people, billions of people. You can suffer because of that. But if you're really good at it, you're going to cause other people to suffer more than you're suffering. And that's one of the big problems with narcissism, like addictions, like other things, is that you can make yourself look good by making other people suffer. The same way if you're drunk, you come home and yell at your kids. Um, they suffer, but you're you're not suffering. So that's one of those, anyway, that's one of those yeah. issues with narcissism is your ego comes at the cost of other people's well-being. Right. I mean, I think this is um, an important point. Yeah, I, I've seen you kind of elsewhere talking about um, what makes something a disorder. And you know, people can be very kind of successful. And you know, a disorder is, I guess, if it's impairing someone's life. But then there's this interpersonal aspect where someone could be very successful, but their interpersonal relationships, they could be causing a lot of harm, you know, and, and you know, in, in my experience of kind of growing up in a narcissistic family, it kind of feels like, it feels like you're born into someone's game. It feels like you're not really seen as a human. You're, a game is going on that, that's serving the, the narcissist's self-image. And then these children come along and it's great. Like I've got these pawns that I can use. And then, as you say, like if you're, if you're kind of aligned with them, then it can go relatively smoothly, but it's still stressful. But if you're not aligned with them, then it's an incredibly stressful kind of, uh, yeah, because I don't think humans are meant to be <laughs> to be born into games as opposed to kind of loving, <laughs> supportive environments. That's, I mean, when you say it, it's very painful, I want to point out, because this is like powerful, painful stuff. I'm always joking, but I, I, I acknowledge that. And the way I've had it described to me once, um, is like it's like living in a movie set like an old cowboy western movie set where you think there's this world but then you know then all of a sudden you get the often what happens you, i mean i've seen that people have a very good relationship with the narcissistic parent up to the point where the parent you, they realize what the parent is because the parent bails on the family or the parent turns you know they see the truth and it's like the whole they all of a sudden they're in a movie set and they didn't know it was a set their whole life and they looked around they're like oh my god these buildings aren't real these are sets this whole thing was a prop i was a character in this guy's movie i didn't even know and and your whole life you're like holy shit i was a character in my dad's movie and now who am i and that's that's where it can be really hard for people because yeah the narcissist is, is setting up a game for himself or herself to look good and and to be the best they can be and it and you don't matter 